Hey everyone, and welcome back to Splash. Today, we're going to be talking about five secrets about the experts on the show Pawn Stars. But before we get on to that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot. Also, make sure to stay until number one to see a so-called expert that turned out to be a complete phony. You will be absolutely shocked once you find out who it is. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number five, producers hire them. This safe was built 140 years ago with old world craftsmanship. On the show, you'll usually hear the guys say they'll call in their buddy or something to that extent. This makes the show's main stars feel close and comfy with the experts. But how exactly did these experts get on the show? Being on a big TV production, everything had to run as smoothly as possible. So these experts have all been picked out specifically to be part of the show by the producers on the History Channel. After all these seasons, these hired experts sure have become close with the Pawn Stars, though. Number 4. Fake Experts Since we have discovered that the experts are just people hired from the channel, many viewers have questioned just how good they are at their jobs. Many people believe that the experts will overvalue or undervalue an item depending on whether they want to help a customer or the Harrisons. Shady. Some experts have even been shown to make mistakes, as was the case in one episode in which a customer brought in a signed script from The Godfather and the expert said an actor signed it when in fact the producer was the one who signed it. Can these so-called experts be trusted? Number 3. Jesse When the hell is this? 2006 US Open Gibson Les Paul. Oh, this is yours? No, no, this is yours. The show Pawn Stars is watched by many, and that's no secret. This kind of production obviously means the experts on the show get paid a decent amount when they make an appearance, right? Well, most of them do. But one humble expert, Jesse, doesn't necessarily need that. Jesse is a guitar expert and is well versed in the ins and outs of guitars. Being the humble guy he is, he offered to be part of the show without pay. He just needed his shop to be plugged. Some good old fashioned exposure did the trick for this guy. Number 2. Jesse's Shady Business Deals Jesse Amoroso is a guitar expert that is amazingly good at what he does. He knows all about guitars and even runs a successful guitar shop. He seems like the perfect guy to buy a guitar from, right? Well, according to some, ordering from his shop online can be a nightmare. One customer recalls ordering from Amoroso and receiving a badly wrapped and damaged item. The weight was falsely advertised online and getting a hold of Amoroso was nearly impossible. He eventually got back to the customer and blamed him for being unhappy with his customer. Who would have known this goes on behind the scenes? Number 1. Steve Grad. Big picture signed by the entire cast plus the creator of the show, so cool Star Trek. You guys are huge fans, right? Oh, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> When it comes to determining the authenticity of potentially expensive and rare items, you want to hire the most precise expert out there. One of the autograph experts on the show is Steve Grad. He was a trusted authenticator of autographs and specialized in sports memorabilia. Grad was part of a group of experts that authenticated autographs. In one event, he had a booth doing just that. A lady had a piece brought up to him in which he said it was a fake. She argued with him because she saw the piece actually get signed. This happened a second time as well. Instead of admitting his wrongdoing, he took to violence. It turns out he was a phony this entire time. He was even seen putting authentic labels on fake items. Look, he's an expert all right. An expert scammer. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed. While you're here, go ahead and click the links above and check out some of our other awesome videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.